FC Porto, founded in 1893, stands as one of Portugal's most storied and successful football clubs. With a rich history spanning over a century, Porto have consistently been a dominant force in Portuguese football, securing numerous league titles, domestic cups and international accolades. Porto have also really impressed in the European stage, achieving many memorable victories in the UEFA competitions. Last season, however, didn't go as good as Benfica did win the title by two points, and today we're going to be giving them a rebuild with a little twist we can only sign players under or the age of 21 let's get into it now the first thing you notice about porto is they are not shy when it comes to facilities three star training two and a half star youth four star junior and four star youth recruitment we are absolutely gonna thrive they've also won a fair few trophies as you can see right now too many to count we can't complain. For the first season, though, we're not going to be bringing anybody in. We have got some players to offload, though. First player we offload is going to be Fernando for 1.1 million to Casapia. Uribe goes to Al Sad for 8 million. Ramos goes to Napoli for 1.4 million. Tarami goes to Chelsea for 21.5 million pounds. The Porto legend, the football legend, really, Pepe, does get a move for 2.6 million at the age of 40. I have, however, brought this guy up through the youth system. That is going to be... Vinhas. Now, I'm very keen to get this guy in. He looks absolutely incredible at that centre-back role. And also, I saw this guy. This is going to be Ribeiro. I saw him available. He isn't the best at the moment, but he has got great potential. And this is going to be the first team going in that first season. I know there's still a lot of the original players there. Don't you worry. We are going to sell them as we go on, but we are trying to slowly influence this team to have more under-21 players. We've had quite a good first season, though. We won the Portuguese League with 84 points, but Benfica only picking up 76 seven that's a lot better we also won the Allianz cup and a 3-0 win against Vitoria so that's also a positive and also bringing home the Super Tarsa against Benfica in a 1-0 win that is beautiful to see the Champions League a little bit embarrassing we got absolutely stampeded by Real Madrid in the round of 16 and I don't even want to talk about what happened in this one and to be honest guys this is the real standout player 45 games 41 goals and 13 assists this guy is an absolute issue. Galano also having a great season as well. 26 years of age. Absolute baller, it seems to be. 47 games, 25 goals and 15 assists. But looking at this squad right now, you can see there are some players which are of older age. And I'm trying to get rid of as many as I can because I want to have a lot of this first team purely as under-21 players. So that's got to be the focus for the second transfer window. But as anybody knows that has done a Portuguese league save, the money is not the best. We've only got 27 million to make something happen. So let's try and create some magic. The first player we're going to wave goodbye to is going to be Tony Martinez who goes to Atalanta quite a big loss for 10.7 million pounds but he is at the age of 27 and I think we can bring in a younger striker and it's safe to say we've done that by bringing in one of the best wonder kids of the game Marcus Leonardo for 17.7 million pounds this guy is he is absolutely nuts. And since we're talking about Wonder Kids, I couldn't miss up on this opportunity either. That is going to be Bargy. We bring him in, matched alongside the Leonardo. It's a, it's literally going to be a dream. And let's carry on with the Wonder Kids. £20 million. Get you, Alex Scott. I am not going to complain. Let's get this guy absolutely thriving. That is three of the best Wonder Kids. This Porto team is going to cook. We also pick up this lad on the free. That is going to be Debrescu. Not necessarily that good right now, but has got four-star potential and is only 15 years of age. The same goes for Pera. Again, 16 years of age. Not the best at the moment, but has got that potential. And considering he is free, only on £55 a week, we had to get him. Now, the team somewhat looks the same going into the second season. Obviously, Leonardo does get into the team pretty much instantly. There are still so many players we're going to offload, so don't you worry. But it is sometimes harder to get rid of some of these players because some of them are actually on a fair bit of money. But eventually, by that fifth season, I'm hoping... 80% of this team are all going to be under the age of 21. So season number two has been simulated and we have won the Portuguese league again. You can see here 92 points coming in. Benfica only picking up 85, which to be honest, isn't actually a bad season. Sporting having an awful season. That is back-to-back -back league titles. We also won the Super Tarsa again against Austril. I believe so you say that. A very comfortable 2-0 final. We are not going to complain. Can we please play a different team in the Champions League? Knocked out again in the quarterfinals. Actually, we were round of 16 last time. The quarterfinals on this occasion, Real Madrid absolutely smoked us. We get to the semi-finals of the Tarsa, but unfortunately, Benfica were too strong on this occasion and beat us 2-1 overall. And the Allianz Cup was 
absolutely embarrassing. I don't even want to discuss that. I don't know where we would be without this guy. I really have no idea. Again, 46 games, 43 goals, 9 assists. By the way, this guy is still only 25 years of age. And look at his attributes. They are flawless. Up next, of course, we had to go and check. That is going to be Marcus Leonardo's first season. 44 games, 25 goals, and 12 assists. He is developing so nicely already. Still so young as well. We've got absolute years with this guy developing into that perfect striker role. And if there's one person that can be perfect, that is going to be this guy. Bargy didn't have a bad season either, to be fair to him. Again, only 19 years of age. 52 games overall. 9 goals. 21 assists. I mean, maybe we can ask for a little bit more in the goal front. But when you've got those two up front, the Brazilian duo... Not too many other players are going to get a look in. One player I'm slightly concerned about, but he appears to be developing okay, is going to be Alex Scott. Now, he's not contributing that much realistically, and he's in quite an aggressive midfield position. 42 games, 3 goals, 4 assists. I at least want to see 10 plus assists coming from that midfield role, so he needs to pick it up. But as we carry on to strengthen this team and try and get rid of the older players and bring in younger players, we have been given £23.5 million to do this in the third transfer window. Of course, we've got so many players to offload as well let's go ahead and do it so in terms of players going out you can see right now i'm going to show you the entire list it is going to be amadou we've also got amaru we've got sosa we've got santos and also paver they all go out on the free and this is one thing i'm noticing it's hard to sell these players so i'm going to simply let their contracts expire unless they're obviously worth a obscene amount and i'll make sure i get something for them but it is a, it's appearing to be very difficult to get some of these players gone but we do welcome gittens he comes in for 12 and a half million pounds the dortmund prodigy himself Himself, can play on both sides of the wing an absolute iconic player and at the end of the day a real good addition to this team we then get the regen Richardo. he comes in for three million pounds and he has got tons of potential you can see he's already got 14 finishing he's already quite quick as well great first touch and he's only 17 he's going to make the perfect backup striker and then for 7.7 .7 million pounds from az we pick up charlison a center back again with tons of potential currently not the best of the best but he has got 17 17 tackling so you can't really pass him up and going into the next season these are going to be some of the players i really want to see get some game time i'm not going to lock them in because it's unfair on the rest of the players but these are the exact players i want to really build this team around we've nearly got an entire young back line now a couple of midfielders and obviously this lad up top so let's go into the third season and see how these players do so we have won the portuguese league again that is going to be three times back to back 96 points in our favor benfica getting nowhere near it again only tallying 83 we appear to be cursed in the champions league as we can't get past the round of 16 or the quarterfinals as it is going to be chelsea on this occasion deemed to be too much for us to handle the alliance cup again a pure disappointment as we don't win enough games to get through braga obviously clearly dominant in this group in terms of the super tasa we done okay we got to the final but unfortunately in extra time we lost 3-1 to benfica meaning we conceded two in extra time we did however win at the tasa final in a 4-0 win against Braga. You saw the first goal go in there. There's three more to come and it is going to be a great bit of link-up play here from Otavio through into Gittens. The new man. What an occasion, by the way. In his first cup final, I believe this one comes around first. An incredible time for him as he helps with the second goal there through to Otavio and he played a massive role in that as well. I do believe he actually had quite a good season, to be fair. The last goal here, but actually, and it comes through and what a header. But that was going to be Marcus Leonardo with the most goals out of anybody overall with 38 goals goals and 19 assists which is quite good to see because now they are really sharing that goal load up top i say the top goal scorer joint top goal scorer but slightly less assists we can never forget this guy obviously him and leonardo really the dream link up now gittens to be fair to him actually had a really good season 26 appearances 11 goals eight assists a 7.29 average match rating for his first season I think he is cooked. A player that seems to be hard to get rid of at the moment, but Pepe, to be fair to him, had a good season as well, contributing with 10 goals and 14 assists. But if we can get rid of him, we will to make it realistic part of this challenge. But what a player he is. And of course, as the challenge is to bring in as many youngsters as we can, we've got £27 million to do. So obviously, this can get boosted by players we are going to offload. There were a ton of contract expiries that I'm going to be expecting to be coming up with this team. So it's going to be a real change in this fourth transfer window. Let's 
let's get into it. So there's only really a couple of players that's worth mentioning. The rest of them were younger players with really no potential. The first one is going to be Grucic, who goes to Hanover for £14 million. We wave goodbye to the 30-year-old. And then it's going to be Vendel. He goes to Flamingo on the free, funny enough. These are really the only two players that really did stand out and I felt that I needed to mention. For £13 million, though, please welcome Marcel Meyer, coming from Bayer Leverkusen, a German talent, 18 years of age, great potential, but already has a lot to offer with those attributes. Up next to £13 million, welcome Benjamin Mavondo, a fantastic French centre-back, 18 years of age, 18 tackling at this age as well, already a really developed centre-back, but the scary thing is, he can still grow. And lastly, for £19 million, these are done in instalments, by the way, that is going to be Blanc. He comes in a fantastic striker option, potentially can push one of the strikers out the team if he develops really well. 17 years of age, 16 finishing, 15 acceleration, 14 pace, tons of potential, it's scary. And now the team looks slightly different. I did forget to mention one player. We did also bring in this lad at left back. Not the best of the best. He was a freebie, free star ability, but he looks okay. The entire back line is now complete youngsters. The midfield is slowly getting younger with this lad and Scott. The front line isn't obviously going to be the youngest now. Leonardo was a young signer at the time. We're always going to keep this fella as well. But let's get into the fourth season and see what we can do. Well, it's a fourth season and it's a fourth title. That is four back to back now as it is going to be Sporting in second place and Benfica fall down to third. Unfortunately, in the Champions League, it's going to be another exit in the round of 16 as we lose 4-2 to Napoli. Utter disappointment in this competition. We do, however, win the Tarsa against Braga in a very comfortable 3-0 final. Also, the Allianz Cup in a very comfortable final and a 2-0 win over second place in the league, Sporting. And also this very dramatic final, we won the Super Tarsa against Braga in a very intense game, which I believe we actually went 3-0 up in. It is going to be Gittens who gets the first goal, a player which is really developing well under this management. We're going to build it up again here with Scott over the top into Leonardo and the two signings which we've brought in since being here, linking up so, so well. They do get a goal here by the looks of it. It is going to be a nice, simple cutback, I believe. Back inside, great bit of play, to be fair. You can't take it away from him. Braga aren't a bad side, to be fair, but we did, however, bounce back quite instantly after a great kind of a great touch in the box a little bit lucky scott doing what he does best on the edge of the box tucking it in they need to get back into the game we held on after this goal goes in what a final in terms of a goal scorer though you can't really ignore this guy anymore 45 appearances 33 goals 11 assists he is developing exactly how i wanted him to and of course this guy's never going to let you down either. 29 goals, 14 assists, a 7.73 average match rating. He has not put a foot wrong the entire rebuild. And now this is more like it. It is going to be Bargy coming in with 12 goals and 23 assists. So a lot better than the previous season. He is well developing into a perfect winger for this team. Unfortunately for Gittens, although he got the goal in the final, I appear to have misread it. He actually didn't play too many games. And in those games, he didn't perform that well. So I'm going to really try and make sure he has a great last season because I really want this guy to be in that first team quite convincingly. Going into this fifth transfer window we've been given the most we've been given by quite some amount 30.5 million pounds to spend plus players that we can offload as well we could potentially have 50 million at the end of this to play around with and get one last good transfer window in so let's get into it. So the first player we're going to wave goodbye to is going to be Estevez who goes on the free to another Portuguese league team but to be honest he isn't really offering too much at this point. 25 years old not got much potential anymore so goodbye to Estevez we also wave goodbye to the Spanish striker Navarro who goes to her for Berlin for nine million pounds and that's also going to be Loom who gets his free transfer away the 30 year old midfielder simply just doesn't offer what we're looking for anymore the first player we're going to welcome is going to be Tomas Dominguez coming from the Argentinian division for six million pounds a great backup goalkeeper and the difference from this to what we've got this guy has tons of potential. And we've also agreed a deal for this guy, although it's not gone through, it will go free for £8 million. That is going to be Tavares from Braga, a fantastic looking centre-back, tons of potential, 19 years of age, already has 16 tackling, not the quickest necessarily, but makes that up for bravery, balance, and also his natural fitness. So hopefully this guy 100% joins. I will confirm that in a second. So this is going to be the team going into the last season. And looking at it overall, there are still some players we couldn't get rid of. But at the end of the day, we've got an entire young back four now. Um, Tavares is actually getting into the team right away. 
Leonardo's actually now a five-star striker, by the way. We obviously kept this guy. We've also got Bargy and we've got Scott. We've got loads of players on the bench. But some of these players, we simply just couldn't offload. But I feel like we're stuck to the challenge with only signed players the age of 21 or under. And a lot of the team now is going to be including those players that we did sign. So let's get into the last season and see if we can at least try and get to the semi-finals of the Champions League. The first thing I'm going to say is that is going to be five back-to-back -back Portuguese League titles as we pick up 95 points in the last season. Benfica coming in with 82 and Sporting finishing off the last Champions League place spot with 65. We also win the Tarsa against Rio again in a 2-0 win. A very dominant Allianz Cup and a 6-0 win against Benfica. And a comfortable 3-1 win in the Super Tarsa against Braga in a 3-1 win. But the big question, what about the Champions League? So we're going to look at the Champions League in depth because we had a little bit of an interest to run in. The round of 16 come around and we beat Liverpool 3-1 on aggregate which was quite a good performance to be fair we then go through to the quarterfinals where we beat Real Madrid 6-5 on aggregate so that is literally a one goal deficit which was an incredible Champions League tie and then we go through to the semi-finals where Chelsea apparently seemed to be absolutely useless as we thumped them 5-1 on aggregate overall but the real interesting thing we got the most blessed Champions League final as Atletico Bilbao or Athletic Bilbao actually beat Manchester City 3-2 on aggregate. And of course, when you get to the Champions League final, you have to watch it, but they're not going to want to watch that again. A horrific mistake inside of four minutes for Bilbao. It's a very easy Champions League final. As you can see, Gittens getting a Champions League final debut through to the star man, a great chip. And at this point in the game, after giving up that early goal, I imagine Bilbao wondered how did they get here? And I'm surprised they did because they didn't play well at all as it is going to be Jolano there through to the star man again to finish off the hat-trick in a very comfortable game, which we absolutely absolutely dominated but I mean in terms of players guys in terms of signings you can never go wrong signing Marcus Leonardo he is absolutely incredible 57 games played 65 goals and 24 assists he had the best season he saved it to the last and he's a massive reason why we won as much as what we did but of course we can't go to video without giving one last thank you to this guy I mean 50 appearances 45 goals 16 assists I think him and Leonardo in my opinion have to be one of the best link-ups in the entire FMC. Bargy had a great last season as well with 47 appearances, contributing with 31 assists and also 10 goals, averaging a 7.74. So he really did repay me in that last season. Hitton's recovered slightly in the last season. Obviously, getting a Champions League appearance, that's also very good to see. But 38 games, 14 goals, 9 assists. Probably didn't take off to the level I was expecting him to do. But nevertheless, he has done something for the team. But overall, that last season made us win five trophies in one season, guys, similar to the tactic test at the end of the day. So if you guys do want to test out this tactic, you can watch the previous video, which is obviously the Gonsi Sal tactic. And if you have enjoyed today's rebuild, please do consider leaving a like, dropping a subscription on the channel and hit that notification bell. And also, please get commenting on any other rebuilds you want to see, any tactics, because I'll get around to them at some point. But enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.